How was church today, kids? Good. Yeah? What'd you learn? About, About Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Jinx! And what did Nehemiah do? Build the wall and use a cupbearer. Ooh. So what was your lesson about, like, I know initiative is what you're working on, but what mm -hmm. what part of initiative did you work on today? Uh, every single thing. <laughs> you don't remember the specific <laughs> no. thing? Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay. Um, we were working on how um, God gives you a lot of things to celebrate, so you celebrate. Celebrate. Very good. Sit down, Jericho. <laughs> Get buckled. Is lunch good, kids? Yes. yes. I ate the whole thing. I know. <laughs> it's the aftermath of our lunch. Good? So we're back home from church now. We were going to go to Art Prize after church. But um, I'm going to show you. This is our current situation it's very sad it was our one day to do art prize and as you can see it's totally rainy and like 40 degrees and freezing so no art prize which is sad but oh well so instead we stopped at trader joe's on the way home i'll show you what this stuff is Couple more of my favorites from Trader Joe's. I love their coffee filters there. They're really cheap. There's a hundred in here. They're the brown kind and they were like a dollar something. Here is my coconut milk that I love. I like to mix my um, Plexus pink drink and the lean protein powder together for breakfast. And it's some sort of chemical chemistry thing. I don't know, medium chain fatty acids with high quality protein and something I don't know but whatever it is it helps you lose um, belly fat which hello we could all use um, belly fat reduction this is one of my favorite coffees from Trader Joe's and it says an exceptionally smooth cup of coffee which is true it's very low acidity and it's very smooth I like it um, when you have kids, you like kids pick out stuff, so they picked out these cookies, which I think we're going to have with tea today, because it's cold. And then I think, of course, they picked out some candy, which I like, stuff at Trader Joe's and Aldi, because there's no artificial, um, coloring in them. So, if we're going to have candy, then I prefer the stuff with fruit juice and no, um, food dye. So I told the kids if we got all of our homework done and our jobs done that we could get a Netflix account this afternoon and watch a movie on Netflix because Jason is gone to a conference with church. So Julia's doing her homework. Journey's doing her homework. I did my work, which was to paint my nails nicely. And Jericho is practicing his piano. How's it going, buddy? Good. Good? So, and then I think we're gonna, we're still trying to make it through on the banks of Plum Creek, so I'm gonna read out loud to the kids for a little while when they're done. So I have oolong tea in my Pioneer Woman cup, which I love. And I am teaching myself some new things about YouTube. Um, which I've really been enjoying YouTube. It's been fun and creative. Oops, I almost spilled it. So I'm doing some YouTube editing and such. I'm going to plan for the week ahead. And I'm going to get caught up on my um, community Bible study book, which we are studying this year. We are studying Christian leadership, which is First and Second Timothy. We're going to be going through Titus, and we're going to be going through James. So, I love community Bible study. I uh, it's like my fifth year doing it, and it really gets me in the Word. And I love the fellowship with the other people and sweet ladies there. So that's enjoyable. 
that's what I am doing. And then after I get a little bit of work done, I am just going to sit here and drink my tea and read a book. And these are my favorite kind of Sundays. Um, just everybody's home. We're not running around. We're just sitting and relaxing. And it would be even better if I had some oils going in my diffuser over there. Um, so that's what we're doing. Chapter 16, The Wonderful House. The creek went down. All at once the days were warm, and early every morning Pa went to work the wheat field with Sam and David, the Christmas horses. I declare, Ma said, you're working that ground to death and killing yourself. But Pa said the ground was dry because there had not been enough snow. The next day, Pa drove to town. Sam and David could go to town and come back in one afternoon. We are getting ready to watch A Wrinkle in Time, actually. I'm just gonna show you real quick how I make popcorn. I don't really measure anything. So I sort of cover the bottom of the pan. Use really high heat. And then I pour in, we like um, white popcorn kernels. They are better than the yellow. They're covering the bottom of the pan. That looks about right. Put the lid on. Now, I don't crack the lid because mine has this little hole right here and the steam needs to escape or you'll have soggy popcorn. So, I can just leave this lid on, give it a shake once in a while, and it will just pop all on its own. Trust me when I say that you need a lot of salt to make it taste like anything, so. And do it right when it's hot, right out of the pan. And I'm doing two separate bowls because I like goldfish in mine. The kids don't really like it and Jason doesn't really like it, but trust me, it is super delicious. The goldfish get warm from the popcorn and it is very good. Okay, we're getting ready to watch Wrinkle in Time. Do we miss Daddy, kids? Yeah. He's only been gone one day and we miss him. <laughs> oh. The kids are eating at the table because they're messy, but I get to come eat oh. on the couch <laughs> because I'm Mama and I am not messy. Yes, you are. I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, look at this beautiful piece of wood. This is almost 200 year old wood that my dad got from an apple farmer who is 100 years old and they tore down one of their old barns um, which was like 100 years old and then the trees that they used to build the barn were almost 100 years old. So I mean look at the wood grain and just the awesomeness that that is. So I'm not gonna stain it. I'm just gonna seal it with some polyurethane. And these are gonna be my shelves in my office. Okay, so for this shelf, this is my laundry room shelf, and this is just a generic piece of board. It was in my laundry room. I didn't really care what it looked like. But I have this stain left over from the front porch, and so I'm just gonna put one coat of stain on it just to kind of seal it you know, so my laundry detergent doesn't make stains on it and stuff. And yes, I don't have um, sawhorses, so I'm <laughs> using the wheelbarrow, but it'll be fine. It'll work out totally fine. Here is my finished laundry room shelf. And I'm pretty excited because of the way my washer goes, I could put the shelf really nice and low because I'm so short, and then my lid still stays up. So that was pretty exciting. So now I can take all this crap that has been on the floor forever and put it up on the shelf. And here are my finished shelves in my office, which I am so very pleased with. That is, this is that almost 200 year old wood, which I cannot believe um, just how nice it is. It's just rustic and awesome. And so this is like bookshelves, so I need to get some bookends so that the books will stay there. And I might leave that there and just fill the rest with books. We shall see. But this wasn't even really planned, but it kind of matches my desk. 
kind of nicely so that's a bonus but that's it for this video thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video